I've got Jason and Justin. I don't know, Justin and Jason. I have no idea, but I'm so glad they're here and they're gonna help me figure this all out. I'm Kaylin Rothhaus, and that's me and my first building project and my first power lunch. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be a designer. And now here I am creating functional and fabulous spaces. This is my client, Mark Alfieri, founder and chairman of Brandstar. And that's Carmen, his chief operating officer. They've asked me to take this building and turn it into a modern and efficient workspace. It's going to be a challenge, but in the end, the new space will be functional, and of course, it will most definitely be fabulous. In the construction business, time marches on, even if you're not ready. For everyone on this project, we've all been working feverishly to meet the 90-day construction deadline. Over the past couple weeks, we completed the break room with a new kitchen and micro market. We added high-speed water filling stations. Now, we're about to turn our attention to technology that will contribute directly to this company's bottom line. Mark's company, Brandstar, produces television programs. They're also a multi-screen advertising and marketing agency. One of the most important spaces for Brandstar in this building is going to be the conference room. It's the place for staff meetings and client presentations. I've been working closely with Mark to make sure we give his employees a comfortable and high-tech conference room. Mark needed all this technology in our conference room really for the wow factor. When we have participants or potential clients come into our space, we really want them to be able to see what we can do, take the content we create and really display it in unique and creative ways that they may not be able to see in other spaces. The centerpiece of this conference room is of course the table. Actually, there are going to be two tables because we have two conference rooms in the design. I've decided to work with Arnold Contract, a company known for their handcrafted American-made furniture. Eric Arnold stopped by a month ago when our space looked very different. There's a lot of electronics that need to be fed through these conference tables, so it's important that we have accurate measurements before the tables are manufactured. There were some measurements that we needed to double check and go over with the team here but no surprises that we haven't encountered before. Right, so stone, 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 all this is stone. Okay, great, so I got the finishes now. Yeah. So what we need to do is we need to measure for the conference table, mm -hmm. for where the core drills are located in the floor there. Our next challenge, the conference tables for the two boardrooms, where an exact measurement will be critical for cutting holes in the tabletop and for access panels in the base. There are literally thousands of wires and miles of cable that need to be hidden and out of sight. I'm tying all of the technology into the table so it can communicate with the video equipment on the wall. In this boardroom, we have these rows of furniture. So after the last riser, we have, I would say, about 36 inches of clear floor space. And then you want to start to center your table there. The next step is once the shop drawings are finally approved by Kaylin, we go back to our manufacturing plant and we build the furniture as per the spec on the drawings. Everything is pre-assembled in the facility in New Jersey. Everything is pre-cut, pre-measured, pre-installed, dry fit, and then it is brought, loaded up on the truck and delivered to the site. In today's business environment, how well you communicate with people inside and outside an organization is very important. And the tools that are used to communicate sometimes determine how successful a company will be. So I've turned to Barco, a global technology company that designs and develops visualization solutions that are really going to help Brandstar's communications. I've asked Dave Fitzgerald and Dan Kaur from Barco to stop by. They're one of the leaders in the industry of visualization solutions. Barco is a visualization company. We make products that show images, that show uh, content, that show information. And uh, we make uh, products that range from projectors to monitors to collaboration equipment. This so will put the Barco Clickshare unit inside of that cabinet. Some of the most noticeable places that you'll see Barco are large venues where uh, there's large projected images on, on buildings. You'll also see us on LED walls in Times Square. We've got uh, very high profile visualization products located all over the globe. Given what, what this company does as a production environment, you're working with video, you're working with uh, uh, partners across the globe, you're bringing in video teleconferencing, you're, 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 you're reviewing media types, social media is a big portion of, of, of your outtake. Um, 
all of that needs to be seen, and, and every surface Potentially, it needs to be a vehicle to support that. So I've turned to Barco to provide the projection for our conference rooms and video walls that will display our video message throughout the building. And today, we're doing a site survey so I can show David and Dan all the different areas of the job site that we have prepped for their equipment. I had some really big ideas on how to make these spaces more collaborative, and I knew the technology existed in order to make it happen. So I really wanted to sort of activate the space with the technology. Our reception desk is, comes out to about here, and it's just this big block of stone that sort of bites into that wall, because the room has a little bit of asymmetry. And then, so I mean, the first thing you see is that video wall. The first area that was most concerning to me was the sense of arrival. I've worked with them and we've come up with a video wall for behind the reception desk. This does a couple things. It brings energy to the space and it also informs the, the person who is coming to this office space immediately whatever information we want to provide that day. Additionally, in the executive boardroom, which is adjacent to the reception area, we're doing another video wall. And you know, the energy that media can produce, especially because Brandstar is a media production company, it was important for me to be able to display all of this media um, that everybody's producing to the employees. But it was here in the big boardroom space that I really felt excited to share my design vision of technology with David and Dan. So here's the center line of the table. So go 10 feet this way and 10 feet this way. So Correct. This looks like it was cut for access? Or so that actually is a touch, uh, touch screen for AV control. When we first talked to Kaylin, she had uh, big plans for this exciting new meeting space. She had a, a vision that she wanted this to be cutting edge, she wanted it to be user friendly, uh, all of which are things that our products uh, are well suited for. No matter how much great technology you have in the office place, if no one knows how to use it, it's worthless. Along with all this cutting edge technology being installed in the two conference rooms, my design plan also calls for custom made projection screens and roller shades for privacy. Again, everything needs to be controlled by one device. So my design challenge was to find a company that could provide custom options for hideaway screens and for privacy at the press of a button. That's when I met Matt from Draper, a company with lots of customized experience in making these products. Draper, we've been making window shades since 1902, and we've been in the uh, projection screen business since 1957, so we have anywhere from 113 years to uh, over 60 years experience in the various products here. Since I needed all installation to happen at the same time to meet our deadline for completion of this building, the key here was to make sure exact measurements were taken before any fabric was manufactured for the motorized roller shades and projection screens. Our process is when we order our, our product, uh, we have to first come out, uh, get a look at the space, and take a field measurement. Uh, all these products, at least on the uh, roller shade side, are, are custom products. They have to be built exactly to the space, down to the eighth of an inch. So we have to come out and do a field measurement, make sure they match up to any type of glazing, mullion structure uh, on the inside. At that point, uh, we go about putting in an order, uh, getting them manufactured, which typically takes uh, two to three weeks. When you're moving this many people into a smaller workspace, one thing is key. You have to embrace technology. It not only makes it faster for you to share information, but it also makes collaboration and efficiency much easier. Now, it's one thing to have access to all this technology, but it's quite another to actually understand it and know how to use it. My IT director, Adam Brown, shares my concern that while all these gadgets are cool, they have to be user-friendly or they simply won't be used. The major challenge with technology in an office space is creating an environment where it's user-friendly for the employees to use. So when they're doing a presentation, they're not discouraged about using it, they're willing to use it, and it works for them. Uh, no matter how much great technology you have in the office place, if no one knows how to use it, it's worthless. So that's why I've turned to Greg Rhodes from Leviton to come up with a user-friendly solution. Leviton is a 110-year-old company that can be best described as a single source provider. Leviton provided us with not only the actual hardware needed, but also touch panels that actually control all the technology through one device. So what Leviton does is, from one app, bring together all of the subsystems within the building, and that could be lighting, HVAC, the audio-visual, uh, certainly the security aspects of door locks and commercial security, video surveillance, 
and really provides it on that single interface so that way it's easy for the end user, it's saving them money, it's protecting the property. In particular, I was looking for one solution to connect and control all of the audiovisual equipment and technology that will be in the two conference rooms. This is where all the new technology will come together and some of it is so state of the art it hasn't even been seen before. And that's where Leviton excels, with its platform that can control almost anything. Kind of like a universal remote, but for the office space. So what we've done here is we have a Leviton controller, it's called the Bitwise controller, and this allows us to kind of wrangle all of the audiovisual components in this particular area. It's all designed to hide the complexity of what's really going on back here in the IT server room, where all the miles of cables and wires come together and are neatly wrapped behind the Leviton controller and network infrastructure units. This is where the true brains of technology integration can be found. So these are the Bitwise controllers. So this is really what everything comes back to, and it's allowing us from that iPad or from that touch panel to be able to control everything from the audio video to the HVAC to the lighting to the security. And so that really is facilitated by all of the Leviton networking as well. So now that I have all this incredible technology in the building, and I know what I want it to do. The next step is a lot more complex. Installing the technology to actually make it work. That will require a complete integration of different technologies from many different brands. But I think I found the solution in one company that excels in tying all this together. The stone has been carefully cut and fabrication is complete for our reception desk and conference tables. And today, the trucks have arrived with the giant slabs of material. In the conference room and boardroom, it was crucial that the tables be placed with exact access to the power unit in the floor. Based on the floor plan, I had designed where the tables needed to sit, and I had to be 100% confident they would never be moved again. I've only got six inches of leeway or wiggle room to move that table around, not to mention having to deal with the weight of a 600-pound table. Of course, those final touches include the actual laying down of each half of those 300-pound slabs of stone for the tabletop, and carefully checking their alignment for accuracy. The end result? A conference table truly tied to technology for a media company of the future. So we wanted to take this long wall, create a 20-foot screen with blended projectors. It's just information on a wall. I saw this long wall, and we talked about it with Caitlin, and wanted to do something unusual there. At Barco, we very much believe that information should be everywhere. So we wanted to take this long wall, create a 20-foot screen with blended projectors, not your typical aspect ratio, it's not video in a box, it's just information on a wall. So as installation of all this cool technology gets underway, it's wonderful to see the transformation taking place. I love Dan's idea of blending images from several projectors onto a large solid wall surface for a seamless projection. Plus, it utilizes its software partner, X2O. X2O creates a platform that allows us to take our content that we're creating, distribute it throughout the office. We can have it in our lobby, in our conference rooms, in the private office spaces, and allows us to do some messaging for the employees and the visitors in our office. But I was blown away by another one of Barco's offerings, a device called ClickShare that allows anyone to share images and content from their own device and display it on a video screen or video wall. You can literally sit there, plug the ClickShare button into your laptop, or select the ClickShare app on your iPhone or tablet and share instantly with an entire meeting room. It doesn't matter if they're the 18th person in the back of the room or the person up at the front of the room. Whoever wants to share their content will have the ability to have a button in their device, be able to push the button and be up on either the big screen in the front or the video wall that we'll be putting over here on the large wall on the side. Fortunately, with products like ClickShare, which make it very easy to just press the button and your information blasts on the screen, certainly I think the employees are going to be sort of blown away immediately by the amount of technology we've actually put into this space. Drapes are important. Uh, because we need to be able to uh, cover up the glass windows for doing projection in this room, any type of TV. We want to keep the uh, amount of ambient light down coming into the area, so it's a good way to uh, roll down a, a, a fabric window treatment, uh, block out some of the light, then have them motorized, raise up in the ceiling to disappear and still give a nice clean uh, look to the space inside. All this crazy new technology from all these different brands 
is being installed into one office space. So the question is, will it all work together seamlessly? You'll do a double take when you meet the people I found who specialize in tying all this technology together. So we're getting to the finish line, and now it's time to start to integrate all of the AV into this project, which is extremely complex. So I've called upon Complete Integrated Technology to come and help me solve this problem and get all of our buttons working in this building. So I've got Jason and Justin, I don't know, Justin and Jason, I have no idea, but I'm so glad they're here and they're gonna help me figure this all out. Now I have to admit, I have a hard time telling them apart, but boy do these twin brothers know about technology. As co-owners of Complete Integrated Technology, Jason and Justin Gelfand are able to take nearly every brand of technology in this building and make it work with each other. In the technology world, our job is to integrate all the components of a building or system that we're working on, which means we touch pretty much every part of technology, whether it's high voltage, low voltage systems, and we make all the parts work together. And let me tell you, that's no easy task to take gadgets from dozens of different manufacturers and make them talk to each other. In fact, make them so compatible that they can all be controlled from one central device. When we come into a room and it's full of electronics and you have all these different systems and components, uh, we take and make everything work seamlessly, uh, typically through touch panels and remote controls. In the boardroom, for example, there are tons of components that Everything from, there's five projectors in the single boardroom, three of them are one single blend together, which has special processors that make that work. The key to simplifying all this complexity is proper programming of each individual device. But it also means taking the miles and miles of cable behind each technology and correctly wiring it to the Leviton processor that controls everything in the IT server room. This job required programming for many different devices and every company uses their own language. So that means we have to work with the manufacturer and get their code set or their language of programming. And then we use the Leventon interface which talks all these different languages. And we had to do a lot of custom programming for some of these devices because they're brand new out of the market. Here we have a blueprint showing the layout of all the electronics, how the Leventon touch panel is going to integrate with all the devices, shows the connectivity between the, all these devices. These are the Barco processors that combine all the video feeds for the three projectors that'll show one image. Every projector goes back to the processor, so everything is going to talk together with the system from Leventon. So Jason and Justin basically came in and held the torch to carry all this to the finish line, helping the workers from Barco and Draper with installation of their products and helping Leviton with integration of all this technology. The end result, high-tech gadgets that are so user-friendly, all it takes is a press of the button on a touchpad to make this whole conference room come alive with technology. Our goal is, when we're done with the user interface, is to not even have a training session. For them to just be able to pick up the remote control and know without any training how to turn on the system and walk through and change the settings. It's technology that's now a lot less confusing thanks to Jason and Justin. Although even after all this work, there's still a little confusion as to which twin brother is who. Yeah, we found with this project, probably some people don't even know there's two of us. Yeah. <laughs> It's been another hectic, but really exciting two weeks here on the work site. It's always special for me to see the design turn into reality. That reality is really evident in the two conference rooms. The Arnold Contract handcrafted conference tables are just beautiful. The Barco projectors will give the creative team here at Brandstar all kinds of options for presentations. The screens and privacy drapes from Draper really complete the room. And speaking of complete, complete integrated technology really pulled it all together with the help of these Leviton controls. We have much more to add in in the next couple weeks. We're going to be keeping complete integrated technology and our friends at wiring.com very busy. As I've said before, everything we do here is designed to be functional and of course, fabulous.